have reached rest grace with rwgresearch.com. Open dash source dash energy. Yeah. As long as nothing goes wrong, we're cutting our first printed circuit board with the fully, uh, whatever you call it, ready to go vacuum cleaner, CNC. So I'm cutting a spiral. This is what it looks like right now. And I'll show you what it looks like in a little while. The goal is that it looks like this when we're done. So we'll see. Alright, still cutting. I'm vacuuming up lots and lots of dust. I broke the bit off, I had to start over. But it's working. I've been using double sided sticky tape. Should come off pretty easy, but wanted to let you see. There it is. Now we gotta clean it up. That is pretty. There's what the big one looks like. Not too bad. Okay, so uh, the, the goal here was to cut a very, very fine trace. Matter of fact, the trace itself is only 0.5 millimeter, half a millimeter. Now, I programmed this um, to cut it 0.05 millimeter. Obviously, my tip is point, uh, point 0.1, but those are extremely well cut traces right there. So let me get the microscope so you can see it. Unfortunately, I broke the tip. So I'm either running it too fast or something. But let me just wipe this off and I will stick uh, stick this on here so that we can actually see it. Oh boy, this is going to be a challenge. There we go. Just barely works. So you can see I'm cutting, you know, a point, basically a, a point one millimeter trace, the small lines there on the bottom. So you can see between the four and the five there. It's really, it's really good actually. It's kind of a mess. That's just what we got to work with. So I'm going to try putting a different bit in, maybe running it a little slower. It was cutting very well though, like really, really, I'm actually extremely pleased with the way that that trace looks. Okie dokie, well here is the final version of this board. So it turned out um, not perfect, but good for a test, the first test run. This is actually a flat bifiler pancake coil. It has about exactly, well, it's 8.1 ohms of resistance. <clears throat> Each coil has uh, slightly over 4.5, but in total when you measure it like this, it's about 8 um, at 10 kilohertz, not DC resistance, that's at 10 kilohertz. Inductance is about fa uh, about 3 microhenry with them connected in bifiler, or nanohenry, micro, microhenry. Uh, yeah, so you know, I'm satisfied this is going to work for what I want to use it for. And then I went ahead and tried to make another one, which a much, much finer trace. Um, 
as you can see the the trace difference here so it is a lot smaller and it actually it really wasn't so bad um, it turned out wow he's having a hard time focus on that but it didn't turn out too bad can't complain but I broke a bit off twice uh, the first cut that I showed you in the video was man it was cutting really really well and then when I went back um, it just wasn't exactly in the same place because the tip itself wasn't in the same place not because of the printer I know the printer will replicate its same moves really really well so anyway I guess I should start calling it the OSD Delta because it's not really a printer I haven't printed a thing on it yet I've just been doing nothing except for making other things uh, anyway well, there you go. I did get my laser in. I've been messing with it, but it's uh, not quite sure if it's going to work quite like I think. This is actually a test of the laser right here. When you got it really focused, it looks like it will uh, cut through the ink, but when it's not real focused, it does not cut through the ink. And even when you think you have it focused, it still doesn't quite cut through it. So this was a Sharpie marker test. Uh, so we'll see how that works, but yes, yes indeed. It seems fine. Uh, these tips that I've been using are not quite good enough. They, they're just so small. They're 0.1 millimeter on the end and I was able to cut 0.1 millimeter trace. So, you know, they're almost even smaller than that. But they break really easy. So, I'll have to work on that. Get a better grade bit. Those were cheap ones. I sucked up quite a bit of dust, as you can tell. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, just a quick overview showing you that it does work and now I can sort of finish wiring everything correctly uh, and moving forward and testing the laser. But that's all I got for you. God bless. Hope you like this uh, little update and demo. And uh, I still got lots and lots of things to do and show you and make videos of. So I'll get to them when I get to them. Leave a comment. Share the videos. Normally don't say this, but share the videos, it helps. Peace out. Bye. Normally I'd say this is a bad idea, but because I got these glasses on, I don't feel too bad. So I have here a 2.5 watt, 12 volt blue laser. It is uh, 400 to 460 nanometers. Now it just has a cord on the end of it that you just plug in. I have a piece of wood over there and I'm going to hold it in my hand. And just make sure it works because I want to take it apart. So I do feel pretty safe with these glasses on, but I'm going to be very cautious. So are you ready? Here we go. Alright, I'm going to try to focus it. Whoa! I gotta unplug it. Okay. We are smoking. So, yes. It smells like burnt wood in here. And indeed, we burned some wood. Cool. That is cool. Okay. So I'm going to try one more test, and it's going to be the same thing but with the lights off. So, 
Doesn't look like much with these glasses on, so I'm curious to see what the camera shows. All right, there we go. I have no idea where I'm pointing it, so hopefully it's not. It's not. Uh, oh, there we go. Hopefully it's not too, too high. So I want to see if I can focus it even better. Oh yeah. Much better. Well, there's what it looks like. That's pretty cool. If you uh, if you watch, I'm gonna go closer, and you see a poof of smoke. So here it doesn't really burn. There it's in its focal point, so it's burning like crazy. And then here it's out of its focal point, so it is only powerful when it's focused. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. I just want to make sure it works. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm excited. But it's very smoky in here, so I'm going to I'm going to let this uh be done. I just had to record the first time I turned on a laser of this magnitude because I have spent many, 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 many years, many years wanting to get one of these lasers. Got one pretty quack, quick. And I never had a reason to. And now, since I have the 3D printer, I have a reason to. So, yeah. You know what? Let's do a cardboard test. I kind of want to know if it cuts through cardboard any better than... Any more than that wood. So, let's cut the box it came in! Here we go. Get to my... My focal point. Oh, it's on fire. That is cool. It's actually throwing a... Uh... It's throwing a flame off where the laser is hitting. Okay, I'm going to get out of this smoky room.